Absolutely crazy. It's really like on another planet. This is a rare freshwater lagoon at the terminus of a remote glacier in Alaska. And this video is our journey to get to it on our own boat. Welcome along. Good morning from Seward, Alaska. Nice place, but it's a little bit too crowded, a little bit too many boats. So we're gonna go and head off into the wilderness. We do have one small problem though, and that is our positioning here on the dock. It's extremely tight to get out of here. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but somehow we have to do it. Let's go. That was interesting. The wind was pushing us pretty bad, so that's why it was a little bit more difficult than I thought. Today we are actually upwind sailing. It's quite windy here, around 20 knots or so. We're gonna head to a really nice anchorage, just uh, around 15, 20 miles away. So we are at the border to the Kenai Fjords National Park. And this is the area that we're going to be exploring the next few days. Sohvi is getting a feel for the boat since we don't really do that much upwind sailing <laughs> and right now we have an annoying problem with our Genoa it's flapping a little bit because the leech of the sail is uh, too loose because the snurpy the adjustment rope there is uh, too high up so I can't reach it while we are sailing. It's actually really bad for the sail to have it like that for a longer time. So that really annoys me but uh, what can you do? We're gonna get that fixed when we are anchored. The previous drone I lost it and ever since then I've been pretty apprehensive about flying over the sea but um, what can you do if you want to get the footage then you eventually have to fly and now the wind is really dying down so this is my chance to get over my apprehension
flying the drone went well until by pure chance I noticed something strange on the beach. There was a party who had wanted to visit the same glacial lagoon that we were headed to, but the swell and the beach break had surprised them and they had swamped their boat. All of their communications were down and we were unable to reach them. It also became obvious that they were unable to call for help, so we ended up calling in a rescue and spent the evening coordinating it with the Coast Guard. This whole thing will be on its own whole separate video, but the whole episode left us a bit shaken and as we headed to our anchorage we were doubting our own plans for the next day. All right, our turn to try the Bear Glacier. Uh, there is less swell today. <laughs> and uh, we are kitted out with all the possible safety gear ever we are also wearing dry suits so we should be easily able to do it with our dinghy but uh, we're gonna go and have a look first and see what it looks like if we can make the entrance let's go <laughs> two and a half miles that way The drone and the action cam footage really don't do the relative scariness of this river and the river entrance any justice. I had underestimated the amount of water flowing out and there was a smallish but a very nasty standing wave at the entrance to the river. Had there been any more swell we certainly would have been screwed. And once we got inside the river the current was so strong that we could not make any headway with our outboard at full throttle. The water was very silty and I couldn't see the bottom at all, so I was afraid of veering off the main channel as I was scared of hitting the prop. If we lost propulsion here, the current would very quickly carry us back to the standing wave. Since this lagoon is a somewhat known location in the area, I just want to put out a disclaimer saying that I do not recommend this to anyone. In the end I decided that we have no other choice than to gun it to the shallower looking shore and re-evaluate our plans. Okay, I have to admit that was uh, more exciting than I thought it would be. I didn't realize that the glacial outflow here, the river is so strong, the current is really quite strong. We were not really able to make much progress at all. So that was a miscalculation. The water is so silty that you can't really see. So I was a little bit afraid of hitting the prop somewhere because there are some um, small icebergs that have um, stranded here. That means that it's uh, shallow. We're just gonna pull the dinghy here just because over there I can see the ice and I really don't want to hit the propeller so... Oh, 
Okay, we are here. Aika cool. This here is a good time to interrupt this episode, not for a generic commercial, but for something that I have been myself preparing for a long, long time and something that I am really excited about. So from now on, I will be offering limited edition aluminum metal prints. Sohu is gonna show them to you. Here you go, Sohvi. The stage is yours. Well, here is the first one. I think this is my favorite actually. Yeah, and these prints are from the episodes themselves. So this is the scene that you just saw in this episode. And that is in the smaller size of a print that I have available right now. So the prints are pretty big and this is the smaller one. Let's show the next one. This is the next one. That's so, pretty cool as well. Yeah, so this is a glacier texture also from this episode and this is the bigger size of a print so this bigger one is 20 inches by 30 inches so that's 50 centimeters by 75 centimeters and this one is just slightly smaller and then we have my favorite one out of these three so this is an older shot of Lumi in British Columbia during the first snowfall that we had and it's also in one of the earlier episodes and I think this kind of like a more grainy industrial look really goes well with the aluminum material so these are printed directly on the aluminum and uh, the material is around three or four millimeters thick and there is plastic sandwiched in between two aluminum layers. These things have a couple of really cool things going for them. And first of all is the material, aluminum. It's of course one of the best materials in the world because Lumi is made out of the same material. But... A little bit thicker. Yeah, Lumi no, is... Lumi. Fortunately, the hull is a little bit thicker. But the aluminum prints, they are really, really durable. Um, you can just wipe them down and because they are already rigid, you do not have to frame them. They are super high quality and they come ready to be hung on the wall. You don't need to frame them. And that's actually usually the most expensive part of actually like putting a print on your wall. So these ones are ready to be put on your wall. And the surface is matte. It's not like this super glossy surface it's actually a little bit rough so it doesn't get affected by glare so here also in sunlight uh, you will notice that um, it's not like a very shiny surface so you don't have to worry about where you are going to position it you don't have to worry about the lighting and which direction the lighting is coming from 
and there's a few crowds flying around here. But these ones here, available until the end of the year. And then on top of that, there are two prints from way back in Norway when we were sailing in Norway on Sylvia. So if you've been following the videos for longer, those might be something for you as well. And then they are really nice pictures. They look pretty cool together as well, I think. By all of them, by all three of them, Sophie thinks they look nice together. Yeah, so that is actually the idea. I've tried to kind of like color grade them in such a way that they fit together. If I didn't state it clearly enough already, I just want to say that these are some really high quality prints. The ink is applied directly to the aluminum, which makes the colors really vibrant, and the ink and the material will far outlast any paper prints. Taking care of these is super easy, as you can just wipe them down with a damp cloth, which we obviously haven't done for this photo shoot, because you can see our fingerprints on them. There is a story to each of these prints, as they are associated with our journey, and with a specific video episode. Metal prints by their nature are more of a quality choice than the cheapest option, but I think what we have here is really good value for money and they really look great. These prints ship worldwide and are made in either Europe or USA, depending on where you are ordering from. I hope you have a look and now let's get back to the episode. Well, 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 this is pretty amazing. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I don't think I have done... Well, I've never done anything like this. We've seen a lot of ice, but this is really special. Me ollaan Lokkien saarella. Lokkeja ärsyttää. Mm. This whole lake here, this glacial basin, it's a few kilometers long and it's just filled with ice and mist and it's really like on another planet. In the 1950s, the glacier extended almost all the way to the sea, and this lake did not yet exist. Since then, the glacier has retreated rapidly, induced by both natural causes and climate change. The lake now spans several miles across. What we see here is a good example of the paradox posed by climate change in the Arctic. When the ice retreats, us humans are quick to take advantage often in such ways that further accelerate the change. We definitely felt guilty powering up and down the river in our dinghy. Other tourists often visit this area on a jet boat or a helicopter. And elsewhere there are other, even more damaging industries seeking to take advantage of the retreating sea ice and glaciers. Though this place felt like an absolute wonder to visit, we started making our leave with mixed emotions. A very impressive place. Sophie, do you have any comments? Yeah, it is very impressive. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> this is my being impressed face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some of you have been complaining that she's sometimes not looking happy, but that's just her uh, yeah, normal. Yeah, it's my face. Normal so. face, yeah. This is her impressed face, and this is my impressed face as well. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Glad we made it here, but now we still need to make it back. And um, 
it felt a little bit sketchy or the river entrance that we took felt slightly sketchy so we are going to um go and uh, carry the the we're gonna take the river first but then we're gonna go ashore and carry the dinghy across to the beach probably we're gonna go and see how much swell there is if that's possible i think it's gonna be possible we have our dry suits we might get a little bit wet but um we will see Miltä näyttää? No, varmaan jos mennään tuota vasenta reunaa, niin pääsee ihan hyvin ulos. Ei ole aaltoa siinä. Oikealla reunalla on, mutta ei vasemmalla. Mutta käydään katsoa vielä tai matkia. This is the river exit here. There's some waves breaking on this uh, sandy reef here or the sand spit. But uh, if we go all the way around and follow the deep channel, the waves are not breaking over there. But I think we're just gonna take the river because uh, it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad. Or if you look at it from the wrong angle, it looks bad. But if you look at it from the correct angle, it looks good. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I'm not super happy about it. <laughs> but I want to get back to home. So. Mm -hmm. Water looks interesting here with the current. It's home, sweet home. Long maybe, day. Maybe nachos. Maybe make some nachos. Yes. Every day, if I'm scared, then we eat nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is another adventure. Okay, okay. No tell me about it. <laughs> the next lagoon over here, the smaller one. No ice, just. Yeah, that looks nice. Entrance wise, no ice. <laughs> No ice, no waves. Hmm. Get this. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a look at the print shop that I have set up on top of these three prints. I also have some others in the store and they are only available until the end of the year. High quality, really beautiful and they come ready to hang on your wall. These are printed on demand and they ship from either Europe or USA and the shipping costs are also very reasonable so if you are looking for something nice go and have a look thanks again and bye bye